Good morning, guys. Today is day two. Wait, today is 15. Yeah, today is two after surgery. Um, it's been a ride, guys. I'm moving around more. Um, not in as much pain, but still in pain when I try to lay down, get up, um, do anything important. Um, I think I'll be back to normal by probably Monday. Um, just based off of how I feel right now. Oh, Jesus. Um, but yeah, bending, coming upstairs, uh, sitting up, sitting back. Everything hurts because remember I had the 360, so that's the entire circle of my torso, including my bra area. Um, so yeah, I'm in pain, but <laughs> this morning I decided to drink a smoothie for breakfast because um, I don't know if anybody has told you guys but when you take narcotics like Percocet you absolutely are constipated so I'm taking my Arnicare um, to make sure that my swelling stays down I have a little bit of swelling I have a little bit of swelling on my right side. Like it's really painful over there. It's not as painful on, well I guess because it's sort of numb. Um, but I do feel the swelling. I have swelling down in my uh, pubic area, uh, which I think that's where the lymph, the lymph um, is like the stuff is pooling down in my lymph, I mean in my, uh, pubic area because um, I got so much done in my abdomen but on this right my right flank just hurts so bad it hurts so bad so I'm waiting for my masseuse to contact me back to let me know when she thinks the best time I know my hair looks terrible when she thinks the best time would be for me to get my first lymphatic massage it's only been two days so I don't want to mess anything up but um i also don't want the swelling to take place i uh was able to purchase my my front ad board and my backboard um i think i'm gonna get some foam for the sides because of how sore my sides are and i'm scared to take this pad off underneath because i don't know what it's gonna feel like against my raw skin so I don't know, but um, I feel like I've read something or heard something about making sure you wear like a smooth cloth underneath, like some um, cotton or something underneath, and then put in the baja on top of that so that it doesn't cause ripples and ridges in your skin as your skin starts to re, um, reform and regenerate itself. Um, so yeah, I don't know. But right now I still have the, I don't know if you can see, I still have the pads and things. Um, so I'm still a little swollen. But I still have the pads and things um, all the way. Because I just, I'm not sure. Maybe I'll take them off in a little bit. Um, I'm going to do some video editing today. And... Oh, okay, that doesn't hurt as bad as it did yesterday. Ooh. <sighs> Video editing. I still have on this crotchless far, so when I sit in the bed, I have to cover up my middle part because I don't have anything on my bottom just because um, it's hard to take off and put on stuff so I just put on the nightgown over top and since I haven't pooped I haven't had to take off the faja that often 
except for when I think I have to, and I just sit there and sit there and sit there and let that happen. But yeah, so today I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do, and um, not much is going to be happening here at Shea Henderson. I will probably just be in my bed, walk around a little bit. I did my 10 minutes walk this morning when I went to get my stuff with my smoothie. So um, I will do that again in a couple hours. Um, this is my breakfast um, with some apple juice and um, a banana maybe. Um, watch the TV and I'm going to edit some videos and that's it. And I will catch you guys back in a bit. Maybe when I take my shower, I'm probably not going to take a shower until later this evening. Just because it's staying, it's, you know, it's staying yesterday um, from the water. Because I still have open wounds. Um, but um, hopefully they'll, they'll be a little bit closed today. So that I can take a, I probably have to take a warm shower because hot just felt like it was needles going back into my flesh. So yeah, I'll holler at you guys in a little bit. Good morning, guys. It is, well, I guess it's afternoon now, but it's day three. I am attempting to get myself dressed and get out of this house because I'm going crazy. But as you can see, I'm sort of slim up in here. Right now, I'm still so super swollen. Um, I'm gonna see if I can go grab me a compression garment from the store, cause this one is super big. They gave me a 2X and it's moving, uh, which I don't think it's supposed to do that. And it feels really loose, even on the last, I have it on the last rung, the last hooks, as well as the last hooks up here, and it's just really loose and moving. So I'm going to um, see if I can find one in the store and get me uh, maybe a extra large maybe or large or maybe both um, just to see if I can tighten this up because it feels really it's really sore super sore um, I'm able to walk around much better today um, but y'all see I got my size are in they are in my back is going to be super flat but I don't have no rolls but you can't really see it in this um, I guess I could pull up um, I have to get bras like this too because trying to put the ones on the snap in the back is a no for right now so I need the ones that zip up in the front but as you can see I'm really swollen it's only day three post op um, so yeah I might take y'all with me I think I'm going to the nail shop just to get something, have something to do. Go to the store and to the nail shop. I'm moving pretty slow. So, I don't need no body hating on me in the mail telling me I need to be in the house resting. <laughs> this is how my hair is going to be because I don't feel like reaching up there to do nothing to it. Because that, oh, my flanks and stuff are still super swollen. So, yeah. I will check back with you guys either at the nail shop or at the store once I get to wherever I'm going and figure out whatever it is I'm doing all right oh disregard my laundry in the background that is my bath linen and since I'm the only one that really does bath linen laundry it's just gonna have to work work when I uh I'm just gonna have to do it when I get back all right I'll holler at y'all when I get back hey guys I am headed to the nail shop this is day three post op Getting into my car was a whole task. Oh, that's cute. Happy birthday, Rachel. That's cute. Um, getting into my car was a whole obstacle course. Like, <laughs> I'm in pain. I'm not like hurting like I was on day one and day two, but I'm definitely still sore. Like sitting back against my car. Um, that hurt. Like my feet, that hurt. And like just yeah, yeah. climbing up into my truck. I had to drive my truck because I, I know I could not get down into my little car because I have a small Chevy Cruze. I know I wouldn't have been able to get into that car because no, just get that out. Um, so I'm I'm gonna venture out and see if I can make it through today, get my nails fixed, 
get a different color and different design and see how that works and then um i'm going to uh come back home and just do some oh. Sorry about that. As I go to the nail shop, I'm gonna come back home. It's hot. How hot is it? I'll figure that out. Go back to the house and do some editing. Do some, <laughs> do some editing and um, then maybe uh, try to work on my product. Because um, I have a product coming out this year, 2021. Um, 2021, I have a product coming out which I'm super excited about. Um, I'm going to be finishing up the design of it today. Try to finish up the design of it today and then um, get back to just relaxing and, and healing. So, I'm going to check back with y'all maybe at the nail shop because I am super sore and super stable. I don't know what it's going to be like when I get that type of. a little crease but it's because my back is swollen right now as you can see I got an arch it's crazy my back is swollen my stomach is swollen so I'm gonna put my faja back on once it's dry but this is where I'm at today day four today's the seventh no today's the 18th so day five this is where I'm at. Say the swelling lasts for three to four months. So y'all gonna have to be patient with your girl snatch this. But um I just it feels weird not to have the compression garment on. Like my skin hurts to touch and um I have like hard spots, like there's a hard spot right here that I'm gonna ask the therapist to massage it out today. Um, back here it's really sore so I try not to touch it at all. But here it's like tingling kind of sensation. Like it was numb but it's trying to get back all the um, feeling back into it but it hurts. Like it hurts. Touching it hurts. It's not as sore on this side but it is sore. Um, and yes, I have my shirt on backwards because if you can see these seams stick out and from what I understand is if you put the compression garment on and because I have to wear it for um, six months, if I'm wearing this for six months, then I'm going to have this in my skin, like an, a, a permanent imprint in my skin of this. So I just flip the shirt on backwards and I put... Uh, the garment on top of this since I don't have the padding that I had before I'm waiting on my uh, ad board my foam boards for my side and then my lumbar board um, to you know help me make this heel faster and firmer and snatchier <laughs> so yeah that's where I'm at. Um, I got a lot of swelling down here. Like it's super swollen right up in here. Um, it feels weird and creepy, but it's a part of the process. I'm only five days in, guys, so. Um, yeah, my boobs look bigger. Maybe that's because 
my fat is gone. <laughs> There's still a B cup, but um, my butt looks smaller. Like, what is going on with my butt? Y'all don't, don't pay attention to my bloomers. I'm gonna have on bigger ones after this because they say I should have underwear that come up here um, to help with covering the area for the compression garment. Um, so I'm gonna have on larger underwear. Ones that I'm not scared will make a, a permanent indentation like in my bikini area. So, yep. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, hi guys. Welcome back to my channel. Today, today is uh, my week one post-op appointment um, at Santa Bello. I am headed there now. This garment is like, what's that? I gotta figure this out. Um, headed there now. I got my curls on, got my Converse on um, to represent today on inauguration day. Um, I gotta do something to my hair though, cause I'm looking at a mess right now, but in about a quarter of a mile. Um, so, but yes, I am headed to my one week post-op appointment. I feel much better. I mean, after my appointment, I have my second lymphatic massage appointment. Those are so painful. Let me tell you how it felt. So the, the lady, okay, she is so cute. She's so old. Well, not so old. She's the older, um, young lady and she is um very experienced she was very gentle um but there were some points where your girl was about to cry like <laughs> it hurt so bad like the pressure on my abdomen hurt so bad but i mean i wasn't i wasn't mad i was glad that she was doing what she needed to do because i absolutely needed what she was doing to you know help with my healing process but um i'm going to see if this garment can be replaced today while i'm, while I'm at the the um office and then because they're going to order my second my stage two baja um but this first one is still too it's too loose and i have it on the third rung and it's not giving much compression at all uh, but nonetheless, I am feeling better. My husband was able to put my aloe vera on my back this morning and it did not hurt. Um, it hurt when I put it on my sides and my abdomen, but the back, my back doesn't hurt anymore. Um, so I'm grateful for that. You gotta be grateful for the small things. You gotta take the good win, I mean the small win. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely excited about that and then um, like from the antibacterial soap, so yeah, yeah. can't use that anymore. Um, but yeah, I'm headed to Santa Bella to. This is like puckering. there now and then like I said I had my lymphatic massage um, at 12 30 right afterwards um, so hopefully it'll be amazing and I can get the swelling on this right side down and my right side hurts so bad and it has like hard parts over there and my, my, my belly gets really tight in the shower as well so I don't know if that's supposed to happen because I, I take hot showers um, but it gets really hard in the shower, like my whole body, whole 
abdomen area gets really hard in the shower. Um, but yeah. Um, the overall healing process has been, been a journey. <laughs> um, I have uh, committed myself to only drinking water. I was drinking juice uh, before. But I found that I get super dehydrated um, when I drink anything other than water. So I don't know if, if my body is just telling me that I need to uh, just do water instead of um, the juice. So I'm just, just going to do solely water. I'll, ju I'll do orange juice if I feel my blood sugar getting low because I'm, on, I'm still on my Daniel's fast. So... Um, my diet is, is a little bit um, different than how I would normally be eating because I am still a plant-based eater. So um, I'll just uh, make sure that I have my orange juice on hand just in case to, make, to bring my blood sugar back up if, if it gets too low, if it drops too far. Um, but yeah, ultimately I feel good. Um, I have no complaints. I mean, other than the swelling. Oh, and my nipples hurt. Like, but they really hurt like every day all day and I didn't think that that was a side effect because he didn't do anything near my breast like he didn't even touch my breast um I have I don't I haven't gained any weight I haven't lost any weight um I, I don't have a cycle so I mean I, I do still get PMS so I guess I am in the time that would be around my PMS time but it's usually my full breast that gets sore but this week it's been only my nipple so I don't know what that's about so yeah um anybody that knows anything about this you know having lipo and side effects and you know issues and during the recovery process and if they've had that symptom can you comment below and let me know what I can do? I'm going to ask the doctor today, but um, comment below and let me know what I can do to stop it from doing that because that's not cute. Um, so, and then, um, where am I going? Okay. So, um, and then I will try, I will ask, um, massage therapist if I can record her for just a couple minutes um, to see if record her for a couple minutes to see if I can you know have her talk a little bit about the massage so that you guys can see who my massage therapist is she is so 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 sweet um, and she just reminds me of like my grandma um, but yeah, I'll ask her if it's okay for me to record her um, and she can put a plug in for her business because, um, you know, she, she's really good at what she does. Um, she's not very abrasive. Um, she has a nice little setup in, in, in the um, Southern Maryland area in Cheltenham, Maryland. So if you're out there, then if you're out here with me then um that's a she's a really good um option for lymphatic massage because if you go to sauna bella they're not going to talk about lymphatic massages so um all right so i'm going to holler at you guys later i have another call to make and i have some business to take care of while i'm on this trip to the doctor so i will check you guys back in a bit
No. No. Mm -mm. Now, um, the compression garment that you all uh, put on me after post-surgery, mm -hmm. she put a 2X on me, and it's really big. We'll get you measured today for the second stage. Okay. Because it, it pulls down during, like, during the day, so it's, like, dragging my skin, and it hurts really bad. Um, we'll get you, like I said, we'll get you measured when you've gotten sent out to you. Um, lymphatic massages, is, is it okay to get them? Yes. Um, I would say maybe wait another week. Okay. My personal opinion on it. Um, because things are very tender still. The body's still recovering. The body is, um, doesn't always meant to do this. So it's still trying to recover. Okay. It's a normal process. So doing it this soon, it should be very tender. Okay. Um, plus I like to wean patients because it's just pretty well healed before it's bad. Okay. <laughs> Surgeons and doctors would suggest a time to it within a week of the surgery date. Do it as you can tolerate. Now, in my um, pubic area, I'm like super swollen there. Like, what what do I do to get this? It looks weird to me. So, well, because, especially now, because it's very early for the surgery date, um, swelling is kind of a, an expected thing. As long as it's not interfering with you urinating, no. keeping you from urinating, then it's, it's okay to kind of just watch and wait. Um, it's because gravity, everything settles below this point. So you're going to notice all this swelling comes down before down here. And it feels like I'm, <laughs> like I have to and, yeah. work hard to stand up straight because and, gravity is pulling me oh, yeah. forward. Jesus. Also the scar tissue, as it's setting up between the abdominal layer and the skin layer, it's kind of adhering. It's almost like a glue or a concrete. So as you're moving and bending, those layers are pulling in opposite directions, which disrupts that scar tissue, okay. which is fine, but it's not very comfortable. So. It's okay. all normal sensations, it's just you're very early for okay. your surgery date. Um, drinking lots of water is very helpful um, with helping that swelling to subside. Seems contradictory, but no, um, <laughs> it keeps your, yeah. your kidneys doing their best job by keeping them perfused so they can help get that fluid circulated out. Mm -hmm. Um, is it, am I prohibited from any like uh, supplements like vitamins or anything? Um, you should be at this point clear for returning to anything. If you've um, or birth control before. No, I'm, I had a hysterectomy, so uh, <laughs> I don't do any of that. Um, no. If you take, do you take an aspirin? Is that something that's on your regimen at all? No. No. Okay. Um, I would maybe avoid aspirin for another week. If, in, in yeah, I, I don't even take the pain medicine because it constipated me beyond oh. really, I mean, beyond imagination. Oh, so I was just like. I'm it's just going to endure the pain. <laughs> <'Cause>, <laughs> it's, no. It's so true, though, because that pain, that pain can be yeah. Yeah. unbearable. So, <laughs> so um, once that's decided, I was like, I'll just take the pain medicine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I would say that you can do that if you want to. Okay. Um, but I would say that you should probably just stay on the regimen that you're on. Okay. Um, and then, you know, if you're going to take a supplement, you should take a supplement that's going to help you get that fluid out. Okay. Um, 
Um, walking around is not a problem. Putting on my shoes, believe it or not, is <laughs> hard. It's like just you trying to get them. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's like I used to have my stomach in my lap, but <laughs> now it's like even though it's not there, I feel like I have to work harder to reach. To, so it's just like whatever I can slip into, that's what I'm wearing. Week by week, day by day, it's getting better. Yeah. You should mm -hmm. be feeling much better this time next week than you are now. Probably feel a little better today than you did a couple days ago. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good I think yeah. that was um, it. Other than the garment, like the garment, it pulls so hard. Like it, it it's like I'm working hard all day trying, trying to, to lift it up to yeah. not they, pull on my skin. They put you in the uh, one at least one size up to help accommodate the extra swelling because usually day three four people have a sharp increase in the swelling because the some of the medication the epinephrine causes they just like keep you from bleeding through it. Yeah, it is. I did it, swell more yeah. for some, yeah. It wears off by that time frame. Area is different for some, but usually about that time frame. And then a lot of fluids start entering the area because they get like puffy by that point. So it is to help accommodate that. But if it were too tight, you'd be right. constantly worried. We want some compression, but we don't want it to be so tight that you're right. Okay. living in it. But by the time you go to the tournament, you, your swelling will have to calm down some and decide to the rest of Okay. Forward. And okay. typically once you wear the garment the 12 hours or so a day until you reach the three month mark, when you come back in for that appointment, we kind of decide, are you still having some swelling or is it okay to go ahead and do without it? But we like to make that decision together. Are um, ad boards okay? They are. Um, it's not part of our literature to recommend those or require those. Right. Um, be mindful of um, any specific points of pressure can cause creasing and irritation. Right. I wear, um, so I, I, I did, I have a um, friend that ha has had surgery. Okay. So all of my t-shirts are like the smooth ones. I just turn them inside out okay. to yeah. make sure that the okay. bridging and stuff doesn't, yeah. Now they can be massaged if they develop, but with like an ad board, I've seen someone who had one that was kind of like a triangular shape mm -hmm. and it ended up how she had Oh no! The one that I the one that I looked at online, it actually goes all the way around. It's like a um, belt kind of, okay. so it's wide. It goes all the way from top to bottom of your torso, and then or your abdomen, and then on the sides it covers the flanks okay. kind of, and it only gets small towards the back. Okay. But and then it velcros to keep it, it in place. It should be okay. Just just pay attention to if you notice it. Okay. Maybe take a break for a couple days. Okay. Okay. Um, be mindful as well with the back bra roll because it's up a little higher. I don't even wear bra right now. Like <laughs> it hurts. It hurts so bad to. So I. That's the t-shirt also serves as my bra because I'm not big. So if I was big, then there would be a problem. But because I don't have much, the t-shirt it it works for me. So yeah, I'm not wearing a bra for a while. It's just not happening. So or I'm gonna wear the ones that uh, close in the front, that zip up in the front. Oh yeah. So. But that's it. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. But no, that's it. Okay. All right. Well, it sounds like things are progressing along going forward. Any questions that come up, no matter how big or small, just reach out. Okay. 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 All right. Well, we'll see you at three months. Thank you. Um, you, too. Okay. you too. So. Mm. <laughs> I am headed to um, my uh, what time is it? Um, I'm headed to my lymphatic massage appointment. Um, Y'all, yeah, I'm in so much pain. I'm so sore. That was not that bad. I thought, wait, let me put on some lips chapstick or something um it wasn't that bad um the hardest part of that appointment was her feeling for the lumps and the um swelling that was the hardest part and taking off my clothes and putting back on my clothes um
so she said the swelling boy you heard so you heard the conversation um in the visit i didn't think that she wanted to be on video because it wasn't oh lord up on the curb. i didn't think that she wanted to be up on the on video so i just left it in the chair um I have a couple things I need to get from the store. A couple food items I need to get from the store. Some oat milk and um, <laughs> oat milk and some vegan cream cheese because I keep making these bowls and they don't taste like Chipotle because they're missing the sour cream. <laughs> Like they literally legit are missing sour cream. So um, I need to get me some sour cream, um, the non-dairy, gluten-free, vegan sour cream. Um, and then, wait, am I supposed to turn in here? Yes. And then for that, <sighs> um. I don't think I need anything else from the store because I have all the fruits and veggies that I need. Um, yeah, so I'm trying to make sure that I do everything I need to do while I'm out. I'm so ashy, y'all. Like, I haven't put any lotion on because they they were they told me that I you know couldn't introduce moisturizers and stuff yet before, but you heard that I can put on lotion now, so I don't have to look like legit. My skin is cracked and super ashy, so um, I am now working to figure out where to get this bio oil from. It might be at like Target. So I'm going I'm to see if I can find it at Target. If I can't find it at Target, then I'll look at the GNC store, vitamin store. Or if not, then I'll just have to go online and buy it online. But um, it's either the bio oil or the coconut oil. Because she was saying that the, um, the hard parts, I need to be massaging 15 minutes, two times a day. So for 30 minutes a day... <laughs> 30 minutes a day I have to massage these little things and she was saying to that I gotta get in there and kind of like work them out so that they aren't um, forming hard places underneath my skin my tissue and stuff like the scar tissue I gotta work them out so um, <laughs> I'm looking forward to that guys this is going to be a whole journey. I'm going I'm to take y'all with me, though. So, um, I, I, I fully expect for this to be super exciting. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to take y'all through the pain and the pleasure because, I mean, what else can I do? Y'all here for it all, right? Um, I'm going to buy the little massage roller thing. Um, to you know to massage myself because you're supposed to do it every day two times a day so maybe I'll do the, the the massaging like the individuals once a day and then do the roller once a day because the roller I can get um, on my whole body but my the yeah we're gonna work it out um, and then uh, what else do I need to get I already had my ad boards, so I just got to remember to wear them. And she said 12 hours a day. I thought it was 24 hours a day. It's 12 hours. So, she was saying it could be at night, and it could be, um, it can, I can just decide when my 12 hours are, but it's 12 hours a day, um, and it is... The extra large, like the one that I bought, 
it's extra large so I got the right size um, y'all my hips are 46 like what? 46 inches what the what like how how is my hips 46 inches bruh like I'm not fit alright so I'm gonna check my feel we are in a bit because Today finna be a long day. It's inauguration day. Um, the, the program is about to kick off, I guess, in an hour. My family is set to do like a Zoom. So they want to be on Zoom to experience inauguration together. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be on it. Because I'll be in my lymphatic massage appointment. So um, we'll see. But... Um, we'll see. Got my pearls on. Got my chucks on. So, we're definitely going to see. Alright guys, I'll holler at you in a bit. Alright guys, I'm going to close this video out, or this vlog out, um, this evening. I am home in the bed where I've been since about... I've been home since two something, but been in bed since four something. Um, quite a bit of swelling, quite a bit of pain. I went to my one week appointment, which you guys saw, and then I went to the lymphatic masseuse for the second time this week. Um, and she also noticed that I had a lot of swelling at the bottom of my abdomen and um that certain spots that weren't tender on monday were tender today so um both she and my doctor recommended that i come home and get in the bed and that's where i've been so um what i will say is it is definitely a process because i'm more swollen today than i was on day two I am in more pain today than I was in on day four I am um, trying different things and I'm about to start doing the, the personal massage that I'm supposed to be doing I'm about to start that this week um, my doctor gave me a tip to take a uh, Advil or um ibuprofen or tylenol 30 minutes before i do it to prepare my body <laughs> because it's painful um it's it, you know it's gonna be a painful process so i'm gonna try that i'll try to do it in the mornings because i have to do it for 15 minutes two times a day but she's he said that if i could do it longer then it would be more beneficial but um i'll try to do it in the morning when I take my shower and then again maybe like mid midday or like after work um so this is the end of my one week journey and make sure you keep tuning into my channel for all the updates um about this <laughs> process if this is something that you're interested in doing I would say definitely do your research and Make sure that you have a very good support system in place before you do it because you will need to rely on them heavily for the very beginning of your recovery. Um, and you ain't going to make it without them. <laughs> so, all right. So I will catch y'all in the next video. Peace.